This is the video number 7 of the course of conservation framing carried out by Rinaldi. The course is edited and presented by Mal Reynolds, who is a recognized authority in this field. What I'm going to show you now is how to float mount a piece of artwork. When we float mount, we can see all the edges of the artwork. And in this case, you can see the artwork has got deckled edges. And those edges are quite attractive. And so by showing those, art, those edges, it enhances the artwork. So what I need to do is to actually place the artwork in the required position. And that is what it's going to look like when it's finished. To hinge the artwork in a float manner, I'm going to use a pass-through hinge. The pass-through hinge passes through the mount board itself and adheres the artwork to the front of the mount. What I need to do initially is, in this case, I'm going to mark on the board, as you can see, four marks or four lines and I'm going to make slots for those lines for the actual hinge to pass through. What I do is I take my knife and I cut a slot into the arc, into the undermount itself. There's one. And there's a second one. And so I have now four slots in the artwork. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use paper hinging tape. What I've done is taken the tape and marked six centimeter lengths. I now cut those lengths. And four. So those are my four hinges prepared. You will see I've got three hinges already in place here. Now I'm going to show you how to pass the three hinge through the board itself. You will realise how I need to have that sharp edge because when I place the, the edge into the slot, you can see I'm pushing the slot, pushing the tape through the slot. I take hold of it from the back and pull the tape through turn the back part down. I then need to separate the top part and those are my four tapes in position. And you can see on the back that those are, that is how they lie on the back. Now what I really need to do is I need to take those off at the back to make sure that they don't come through. So the tab at the back has been taped for security and now what I need to do is I need to position the artwork in the right place, ready to ensure that it's stuck down correctly. So now I take my paintbrush, that's gone, and I wet the hinges. I don't want to put too much moisture on the hinges because, as I've said before, paper is, is, accepts water and when it does then it expands and I don't want it to expand and then cockle. So that's the position that I'm in at the moment. I wait with paper down and wait for the actual adhesive to dry. Once it's dry then I have got a float mounted piece of artwork. Once the adhesive has dried remove the weights and that is our float mounted artwork. You will find all the products for conservation framing in our website.